destiny more a year. <coughs> when working on a large body of work, <coughs> such as the um, Japan's Ballad, the uh, Opus 23, in G minor, <coughs> when you're working on a large body of work, I find it's better to to break it up and uh, and then try and go through it just try and go through it, go straight through it uh, to break it up in blocks and then try and go right through it um, and finish it so it's a bit it's a bit um, it's a bit like a journey if you like um, or um, it's a bit like doing it in blocks uh, one block of music and then another block of music so the first page and then maybe the third page or second page a bit out of the second page a bit out of the say seventh page and then the end and then link them all together so you've got seven pages or you've got ten pages or well, how many pages of the pieces, pieces of music here some pieces of music are only two pages long whereas some are fourteen or, or more so um, so I try to do it in, in, sta do it in stages is, is one thing that's helped me Rather than forge, forging ahead and um, trying to do it all in one go, it, it's it's difficult when you try to do that. Um, and also Tatiana, the Russian pianist, uh, my my teacher, she asked me um, she asked me um, do memorizing memorizing the work. So without looking at it and just play it, so you know, um, and that's another thing. Right, like I said, I try to do it in blocks. So I do it in blocks. So it's like a journey, a journey for me, if you like, or journey for you. Um, and then reading the music. Um, see. one block and then I would work on I would work on this bit Chopin ballad. Uh, then I'd work on another bit, uh, another bit, and sometimes I would do right hand and left hand. So I would sometimes I practice right hand first and then left hand and then put them both together. And that's another thing you can do. Um, left hand, right hand. So. stretches as well.
gone up, got it crab D, another A, and an E flat. Both hands to, then I put both hands together um, <clears throat> and that's working with both hands together. The same again with the end part that I do. Um, again from the bottom of the keyboard. Um, I'll look at the music and I'll look at the left hand and then I'll look at the right hand. And here the left hand and the right hand are going up together like this. Um, so sometimes you can have octaves coming down. And then an octave is like two E's, or two E flats, two D's, two C sharps, and then two C's or two, two D flats. So you you got your going up as well so I'll look at the going up bit as well uh, the from the bottom of the keyboard um, so. and then looking at it slowly and then going up well this is going up with the same, with the same notes so it's quite helpful Chopin ballad, then it comes down with a B flat, a B flat, a G, and a D, and then two bottom G's. But that's that was with that was with both hands there, uh, going up, going up, and the same with the faster. What's all? Fast. It's all quite fast anyway, but uh, let's using one right, using one hand first, then octaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and on two G's, two G's, it's G minor ballad. Right hand the same. I'm doing both together. This is both together. So using tied notes first. Sorry, then you, then you use your octaves. Then you use your octaves. And then you go down, all the way back down to the resolution. So, so using both hands together. which is written right at the top octave are you and that's why you've got the eight sign there and then back down again with two G's and that's that so it's practicing one hand first and then uh, then the other hand afterwards and working in blocks like I said working in, uh, taking a passage at a time and playing it so, so I don't know this. I don't know this bit here, but I'm going to learn it. I'm going to learn this bit. And this is what you say to yourself. This is what you say, or this is what I say to myself. 
I've been laying this bit. I don't have to go fast, but I don't have to try to go fast. I just try to get it. And try get. So you don't want, you're not trying to go speed first. This one he's using again. He's using using all of the keyboard Chopin is. So that's it, so just taking it one bit at a time and then that leads to the other end bit. So you say I'm going to learn that bit, that's the bit I'm going to learn. So thank you Tony Amore, goodbye. That's a Tony Amore production for YouTube, goodbye.